other side of the Rangatata River. Tom was thinking about hiking with us, but... I haven't decided yet. Tom's actually gonna hike with us today. Let's see how it goes. I can't he, find any more stuff. He's gonna quit again. Tom forgot what it was like to be on the trail, the hardships. I wanna go back to my car. <laughs> and so we are just following what they call a stream, but it seems like a river to me. But we're following it up to the mountains. We were not supposed to go up here. This is really sketchy. <laughs> After so many wrong turns, we finally found the trail up this ridiculous gorge. It's beautiful, but the trail is very irritating right now. We're pretty bruised with our pride and our bodies. And now we get to descend after we just spent like 30 minutes climbing. We get to go back to the river to cross it and you can see the trail on the other side going up. Oh, this is relentless. We made it to our first break. I packed out like way too much food. It's just a typical snack for Danny in the middle of the day. <laughs> Diabetes boy. We made it to the top of the first saddle, but this isn't the tallest. Whew. So it may have been a mistake to let Tom lead as we were just walking through the grass, trying to find the trail. Well, there's a pole over there to the right. Just made camp for the night here at the Royal Hut. Because, you know, Lord is from New Zealand. So we'll never be royal. Starting off our morning, heading to Stag Saddle, the high point of the Te Araroa. And onward we climb. Still making our way up, but we're almost to the top of the saddle. Whew. Well, here we are at Stag Saddle, 1,925 meters, highest point in the Te Araroa. And you can see down there, there's like Tekapo. And this is it for you, Tom, huh? Just the end of the line. No. <laughs> Was it worth it coming back on trail? Absolutely. Yeah. Got to the highest point so I can send a picture back to my parents so they don't think I've given up. And there he goes, off to Chase Mountains. I'll see you next time you need a lift. <laughs> Good luck. So there's Stag Saddle. The guidebook says you can either follow the stream down on the marked route or come and follow this ridge off in that direction. So I'm gonna choose the unmarked ridge route. Just can't get enough of these views. There's Lake Tekapo, which I'll soon be descending to. Look at that nice blue water. Just absolutely stunning views. And over here we see the Southern Alps. And there's the magnificent Mount Cook straight ahead. And there's the headwaters of Lake Tekapo. Always gotta look back to make sure you know where you came from. I'm so glad I'm not down there on the riverbed. This is a nice, easy, beautiful walk. And there's Lake Tekapo with its ridiculously turquoise blue. And should be getting to the town of Tekapo this evening. 
Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know more, check out the link in the video description for my blog and share, subscribe, comment. And next time we'll be here in the canals of Venice. I mean, New Zealand. It is.